you guys that don't know him, you might be able to tell from his accent, he ain't from around here. Y'all. Wow. Alan, uh, what a great day. Uh, I'm usually not speechless, but I owe it to that man right there walking here five years ago. Gave me a chance to drive his funny car, prove myself, and uh, it took us a while. We worked hard, but uh, we're here today in the winner's circle, and I owe it all to uh, Jim Dunn, Diane. John Dunn, the guys did a fantastic job today. We had a good race car. We had a couple trying experiences over the last couple of weeks, but uh, we kept persevering and uh, we brought this candidate all natural pet food car into the winter circle today. We're all very proud of that. How many of you Seattle fans remember coming out here and watching the Fireman's Quickie run years ago? Yeah! That's the guy that used to drive it right down there, Big Jim Dunn. He's made a lot of laps down this racetrack. And when you get into a condition, saw on the racetrack a little bit tricky out there. He's a good guy to have in your corner. Well, today we had the race car to beat, obviously. Uh, we had lane choice three out of four laps, which was uh, pretty important today. Uh, Jim did a great job on the tune-up. Uh, we had to pedal the car, but it was down track uh, a couple times today. But uh, we got off the starting line. We got at least a half track before we had to pedal it, and that was the key to the success today. You have a lot of solid days, a lot of wins as a sportsman. Compare this one. You know, Alan, these are the days that uh, this is the day you dream of. You worked your whole career to uh, get your first pro win, uh, worked hard, put, put the time in behind the wheel, and uh, and here we are. So it's a great feeling. My only regret is that I wish my family was here with me to enjoy it. But I spoke to them on the phone, and my son is at a WWE event at the Nassau County Coliseum in New York, and everybody's more than happy for me. I'm guessing your kid would have got, yeah, that's great, Dad, but I ain't leaving, right? Yeah, exactly. Bring on Triple H. Hey, don't wait so long to come see us again, folks. Tony Bartone, he's your funny car champion. Oh, it's the old adage. Uh, you never say die, you never give up, you keep plugging, and, uh, you know, days like this happen. What did Jim Dunn say to you down there? Uh, good job, kid. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be called a kid. <laughs> At 52 years old, I'm still a kid, but he's 74, so keep calling me kid, no problem. You're the third first time winner of the season. Does that say a lot about the depth of the class? Well, you, you know, Funny Car, uh, in my opinion, I've been watching this stuff since the 60s uh, when the only place you could watch drag racing on was Wide World of Sports from uh, Pomona, the Winter Nationals, and me and my brother watched it as a... Uh, as you know, 10, 11, 12 year olds, and we look forward to it. And uh, I think the funny car field is as competitive as it's ever been. Um, you know, just look at uh, who didn't qualify yesterday. What was that fellow's name? The one guy that didn't qualify. Uh, but you know, on any given weekend, uh, there's uh, any one of a number of top teams that uh, doesn't get in the show. And that speaks to the competitiveness. Also, a tenth of a second spread between 1 and 16, I would think would be something that either both concerns you guys as drivers, but is also encouraging for the health of the class. Well, uh, you know, we were talking about that last night and saying, you know, it's, it's getting like the pro stock categories where there's only, you know, hundreds of seconds between uh, number one and number 16. So uh, the class is competitive and uh, a lot of great cars out there. And, uh, hey, it's tough out there. I didn't even calculate the points. I'm not sure where we're at now, but uh, what we need to do is we need to have a consistent race car that will go down the racetrack. And then the round ones will come and the points will accumulate. You know something? Uh, what was that fellow's name that was? Jim McKay. He just passed away in the last year or so, but uh, yeah, in the agony of defeat, right? Coming off that, uh, the, uh, the ski jump. Watched that many times. Did you ever feel like that guy? <laughs> uh, only in Chicago and Gainesville this year. <laughs> hey, it doesn't get any better. Uh, you know, first win in a fuel car. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, now I'm going to probably not sleep for three or four days and uh, try to do this again next week in Sonoma. And uh, it'll be another hot racetrack. And uh, hopefully we'll have something for him again and we can go some rounds again. They say the first one's the toughest. Maybe we got the monkey off our back. Now we'll see. Right on. Left off. Ha, ha, ha.